Good morning, honeybees. This is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot, and I have another pick a card reading here for you today. The question is, will they contact me or will they reach out? All right, guys, so we have six piles here. Pile number one. Pile number two. Pile number three, four, five, and six. All right, so as usual, energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay, there's so many amazing readers out there, one of them will resonate with you. And if it does resonate with you, please show the love, like, share, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, follow me at Twitter. I'd love to see you guys there. All right, I'll give you a few moments to decide which pile or piles you feel most drawn to. Timestamps will be in the description and I'll meet you guys there. Hello, my pile one people, or those of you that picked this shell, this is your reading. Okay, so first of all, your guys' answer, a romantic offer or message, Jack of Hearts. I would say that is an absolute yes. Absolutely, they are going to contact you or they're going to reach out to you. But being as it's right next to the magician in reverse and the fool in reverse, here is, I think, the frustration here. This person with this romance and the turn on your heart light, they're thinking about you a lot, okay? If this is a romantic situation, which I believe for majority of you it is, um, this person has been thinking a lot about you. If you guys have been in a relationship or situationship before, this person is kind of reliving some of those moments, you know, kind of replaying them. The, the highlights, the parts that were wonderful. They might be, if there was parts that there was conflict, you know, involved, they're thinking about that too, but mostly they're just thinking about you in a very positive way light, you know, and they're having a hard time not thinking about you, okay, in general. So they're feeling a bit preoccupied. This person might be at a distance to you, but it doesn't have to be because emotional distance can seem farther than even physical distance. So I get that this person is cut off from you. You're kind of you might be losing hope in this situation. You might feel confused. Um, a little while might have lapsed since this person has extended any kind of offer or emotion towards you, but I get that they want to, but with that magician reversed and the fool in reverse, I'm getting that it's all about divine timing here. The reason why this person hasn't contacted you yet or reached out to you yet is because there's something that has to be closed out first. Something in, it might have to do with their cycles, it might have to do with your cycles, but something on one side or both sides needs to be closed out, completed, you know, finished so that you guys can start something new with this person. But just keep in mind, it's not something that can be rushed. Unfortunately, it's going to take some patience in this scenario, but don't lose hope. Hold that goal. Hold that dream in your mind. Don't start. Don't stop living your life. Don't don't become stagnant. Don't, you know, don't get a flat tire in life just because you're waiting for this person to reach out to you. But I, I believe based on, you know, these cards that they will reach out to you. It's just going to take some time. All right, my pile one people, please like, share, and subscribe and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my pile two people, or those of you that picked this shell, this is your reading. Okay, so first of all, the answer is 
Jack of Diamonds, a message of a new opportunity or gift. That would be a yes. That would be this person will contact you. And right next to the Two of Cups, this could be the one, guys. So if you're thinking about a romantic situation, which I actually think that most of you are thinking about a romantic situation, but some of you, this has to do with something that you've wanted in terms of your stability, your career. It could be a job opportunity. It could be, you know, getting accepted into the college of your choice, getting accepted into a competition, or I don't know why I'm hearing competition. Getting an offer in something Okay, you guys might do something in the entertainment industry of some sort or kind of a creative endeavor. Maybe you're waiting for um, someone to accept your art into a gallery. I don't know. There, there's something here. For some of you, this has nothing to do with romance and this has to do with your goals, your wish fulfillment, that kind of thing. Either way, yes, absolutely. If this is romantic, this could be the one. If this is career-wise, you could be getting the job of your dream. Uh, dreams. The Basically a hobby or passion you have could become, you know, a reality, could become your career. With that soulmate card, it also talks about, you know, very balanced and per pretty much perfect um, aligned partnerships. So if you're wondering if someone's going to partner with you on something you feel passionate about or a new career endeavor, absolutely. You know, but with this nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon, you know, realize this person, this opportunity is going to present itself, period. However, the outcome here is not set in stone. And it's it's kind of interesting here because I'm getting that this is basically a partnership of your dreams, romantic or not. But for some, for some reasons, one of the parties you or the other person is feeling a bit up in the up in the air and has they might have a hard time expressing what they want. They might have a hard time really deciding what they want. And that's why it's up in there. They haven't fully decided on the path that they're going to take yet. You know what? This rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental a fundamental need to take a break. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth and the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. Um... I think that the person you're thinking about, it could be you as well, but the person you're thinking about, um, they may wear a mask in front of majority of people. Um, that mask is going to be different across the board, but for a huge majority of you, I'm hearing Beauty and the Beast. Okay, I'm basically, I'm not saying this person's unattractive by any means, but emotionally, I'm getting this this kind of feeling of someone who might be a little abrasive, maybe a little angry, maybe cold, you know, on the outside. But then all of a sudden, you know, as this person starts to lower their guard, you're going to get little surprises like this person volunteers at a soup kitchen in their in their spare time. They volunteer at a homeless shelter or volunteer at a um I don't animal rescue. You know, there's something about them that you're going to be like, wow. And there's going to be this just beautiful side of them where they, they care about others. They love, you know, others. They really, they might be healers, actually, surprisingly. Um, they might dedicate a lot of their life to healing others, whether that's mentally, physically, spiritually. There's something you don't know about them that is going to make you make you care about them, respect them, love them even more. But this person doesn't believe that they're a good person. This person doesn't believe they do enough. Okay. They don't believe they are enough. And that's why this is up in the air is this person has to realize that they are good enough. They have to realize, you know, what they bring to the table, that they are a beautiful soul, you know, and Although I do get that this is absolute, well, for majority of you, you're going to get that message. They're going to reach out to you. They're, they're going to, you know, contact you. The outcome here is uncertain. So my advice to you, you know, when this person contacts you, romantic or, or platonic, try to, try to show them. Words might not work here, okay? I, I think you're going to have to show them, you know, 
what they mean to you. Only they can discover their own self-worth, but you can help them al along down that road by simply showing them without words, you know, the impact they've had on your life. All right, my pile two people, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my pile three people, or those of you that picked this shell. This is your reading. Okay, so the answer is an offer of truth or a peace offering and eight of diamonds, you will need to put a lot of time and hard work into reaching your goals. Yes, if you are willing to put in the time and work. All right, guys, that is a yes, but it's a yes, but you have to put in work to make this happen. Okay, so for majority of you, I think that means um, you may have to reach out to them first. You might have to extend an olive branch of some sort. You know, I'm getting for this pile, there may have been a conflict, a breakup, a misunderstanding, or you guys, you guys might have parted ways in a way that was very emotional, very difficult. You know, one or both parties might have walked away feeling hurt um, in this scenario. And if that's the case, I'm getting really strongly that, yes, you can get contact from this person. This person could reach out to you, but you're going to have to contact them first. You're going to have to reach out first. The other scenario that I'm getting is that you might have to, even if you don't contact them directly, there's this person might be watching your social media I just got that is they might be what even though they might not be talking to you um I'm getting that they're watching your social media okay so a lot of them might be watching to see what you're doing you know see if you're dating anybody else seeing if you're involved with anybody else and they might not be certain and so part of the reason they're holding back is even though there is this sense of they miss you you know and they they might be feeling hurt or they might not know how to reach out they also are unsure if you're even available okay and that's another thing holding them back. So it might actually be a good idea. This is a side message. If you don't want to contact them directly right now, if you are feeling kind of that uncertainness on how you should proceed as well, maybe start by dropping little hints on your social media about you being single or not being involved with anybody else, you know, or things that you know that they would see, you know, that's an interesting, I, that's... That's normally not my advice, <laughs> my, but um, yeah, I'm seeing that some of you might have to be a little more crafty in your approach towards this person, but either way, it's saying that you're going to have to put in some work in order to manifest this. With this nine of wands, once again, I'm getting that hurt energy, that battle weary energy. This person might have lost a lot of hope in their own stability, lost hope that they would find their romantic partner, maybe even lost hope in the relationship or situationship that you guys might have been involved in. And you know, with the other piles, I also felt that it was mostly romantic and same here. You know, I believe that for most of you, this is a romantic scenario. Um, if it is not romantic, I would pretty much follow the same guidelines. This could be a friendship. Um, this could be, this could be, this could have to do with the workplace, you know, just get rid of the romance part of it and still kind of, kind of follow that same plot line energetically. But with this energy, with the energy as gaining momentum, waxing moon, and receive with love and appreciation, gracious gracious acceptance is a way to show love. You know, if the, if you felt that this person did you wrong, um, even though it it could be difficult to extend that olive branch when you feel like the wronged party, but what this is saying is. Not only should you extend that olive branch if you want this to happen, but when they come to you with an apology or or an olive branch of their own, 
by receiving that apology, by accepting that apology, accepting and receiving that olive branch, you actually are showing them more love and care than you realize. Okay, so if they come back your way, if you decide you want to put in the work here and they apologize to you, if you're the wronged party, try not to rub that in their face. Try not to bring back old arguments, even if you feel like you were right. You know, my advice to you here, if you want this to go positively, is to accept that apology and simply try to forgive. All right, my pile three people, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my pile four people, or those of you that picked this shell, this is your reading. Okay, so this is interesting, guys. The answer is Queen of Hearts. You are beautiful, strong, and worthy of love. And then we have the Six of Swords right next to it. And then the Full Moon in Leo, don't let pride get in your way. Okay, so with this you are beautiful, strong, and worthy of love, and the Eight of or the sorry, what is it? Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, I think this is actually a no, okay? It possibly could be a maybe, but I think that that's actually not even the point of this spread. I think this spread is telling you that, yeah, this situation was probably meant to end with that full moon and Leo card. However, you should stop waiting for this person to contact you. You should stop holding on to this situation don't base your self-worth on whether or not someone else, you know, reaches out to you or extends love or emotion to you. Regardless of how this other person feels about you, regardless of whether or not this person decides to extend love to you eventually, you are beautiful, strong, and worthy of love. Your self-worth does not, does not diminish because of somebody else. Your beauty your your incredible soul does not dim because someone else has made a decision that is hurtful okay so this spread is actually saying to me you know it could be a yes it could be a no it could be a maybe but either way you should stop waiting for this you should stop focusing on this you know I'm also getting that this is a lot about manifestation. When you want something to happen, you need to be putting that energy out into the universe. You know, be willing to express love, express love to receive love, be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. The heart of the matter, there is more going on than meets the eye. So with this, I'm getting... If you want to bring more love into your life, be more loving to others. If you want someone who's going to appreciate, you know, how wonderful you are, believe that you are wonderful and that you are deserving of the best kind of love. If you want the whole package, someone who's there for you, someone who mirrors you, someone who loves you as you are, love yourself as you are. You know, you have to, it tends, and this isn't always the case, but it tends to be that your surroundings mirror your reality internally, okay? So if you start to look at the world through the lens of love, you'll notice that love is all around you. If you start to truly believe you are deserving of love, the love you're looking for will come into you. It's only a matter of time. So I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could have given you a definitive answer. But what I'm seeing here is that whether this person contacts you or not is not the point. You have work to do within yourself. And a huge part of that work is self-love, self-worth, healing past pains and wounds, feeling, you know, healing blockages forgiving, you know, what happened in the past, moving forward, you know, making dreams, making goals, really, really putting time and energy into yourself.
All right, my pile four people, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my pile five people, or those of you who picked this shell. This is your reading. All right, guys. So first of all, before I even get to the answer here, I keep he I keep hearing a song over and over in my head. <laughs> And so I have to, I have to. The sun will come out tomorrow, bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Now, I don't know why that keeps playing in my head over and over and over. And it could be that I have tons of sunlight coming into my living room right now, but honestly, I'm just getting, this, this is going to be very fast communication, yes. The answer is yes. A new start of communication and or truth expressed. Ace of spades. This could literally happen tomorrow. Okay. Maybe that's why I'm hearing the song. I don't know. Maybe you guys are going through a really difficult time right now. You might be feeling sad. Maybe you had a separation with the person you're thinking about. And you might be mourning it, thinking that it's just not going to happen. You might be in this hermit energy here, which normally the hermit energy, you know, a lot of people see that in romance and go, oh, I'm going to be alone. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be lonely. But no, the hermit energy is actually about you know, making a choice to walk a path alone so that you can find clarity, so you can discover deeper knowledge. It's actually a really beautiful energy, and it's an energy that we all need to tap into sometimes for our own, you know, well-being, mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, sometimes we need to take time to ourselves to reevaluate. But what I'm getting is that with this blue moon, believe in the impossible, the yes, this person's going to contact you. This person's going to reach out to you. And it could literally be tomorrow, okay? With this, you are limitless. You could do anything you choose. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. If this person is still around you, but they're just really not extending emotion to you, really not talking much to you, it might be good for you to do something kind for them. It might, it like if you're walking by them, maybe, you know, just stop for a minute and do something nice for them. You know, if you do talk to them, but they're just not extending emotion or contacting, like you might know this person from the workplace. I get that you might be around this person pretty often, but you guys just aren't talking. So I'm getting that, yes, this person will contact you, but you can help that along by, you know, doing little things for them. Maybe, maybe displaying warmth their direction, you know, displaying happiness and care their direction, you know, being in this energy of sadness, if that's where you're at, it might be putting a lot of pressure onto this person. Okay. And I don't know the situation of why this occurred, why the separation occurred. If that's your story, um, they, you could feel like the wronged party here. They could feel like the wronged party. Maybe nobody did anything wrong, but there was some kind of misunderstanding, conflict, or there was something that drove a wedge between you two. I'm not really sure. But regardless, by showing happiness to them, by smiling at them, you know, as you walk by, maybe just putting your hand on their shoulder or, you know, I, I don't know, putting your hand on their arm. There's something about just little things to show them that you're thinking about them. Okay, this is this is actually a pretty incredible pile because what I'm seeing is that you should stop being sad. The sun will come out tomorrow. This is, I just keep hearing it. I just keep hearing it over and over. That might be that song might have synchronicity in your life. I don't know, but this is such a positive pile, guys. It actually kind I kind of, this doesn't happen to me too often. You know, I tap into energy and I, I, you know, I can get messages, but I don't usually get emotional about it. And I actually feel like I want to cry with this pile. I really do. There's just this overwhelming feeling of, it's just not going to happen for me. 
they they don't love me anymore. I'm how can I I'm not going to be with them anymore. And there's just this sadness. But let go of that, guys. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope here. Believe in the um, impossible. The sun will come out tomorrow, okay? All right, my pile five people. That was amazing, and I love you guys so much. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hello, my pile six people, or those of you that picked this shell. This is your reading. Okay, guys, so the answer is the four of spades. Take some time to rest and rejuvenate. Now is not the right time. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is no, not right now, okay? Now with the Queen of Cups right next to it and the full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. I'm getting that there was a reason that there had to be a separation here, okay? For some of you, this had to end because you, with this Queen of Cups, because you have an offer coming in that's actually going to be better for you, okay? Sometimes, and, and this is, I'm not going to lie, this, this sucks. It does. It, when it, you're going through it anyway. Sometimes you have people who come into your life and you have a wonderful time with them. You feel passionate. You might even start to love them. Um, they make you feel good. You make them feel good. And it just seems wonderful. And then it just ends. Almost out of nowhere. And each one of you move on in your own directions. Okay, and that could be confusing. It could be painful. You could be left pining after them. You know, you you might extend their energy, their direction long after they leave. You might feel caught up. Um, but sometimes people come into your life for a purpose and it's supposed to be temporary. Sometimes that short amount of time you have with someone is a beautiful gift. Okay. A beautiful gift sometimes it they come into your life in a time that you need them okay and I, I don't like to throw that word around you know need because it's so honestly in my opinion you don't need anybody else but yourself and your God okay when you're looking at need but sometimes we need we have this feeling that we need to we need some support in certain situations in our life. A lot of you might have gone through a very difficult breakup, you know, gotten out of a really difficult relationship. You know, you're feeling, you know, despair. You're feeling a lack of passion. You're not, you're feeling not very hopeful. You're lacking in creativity. You, you almost feel like you're just not going to find your person, you know, and a lot of you might have been feeling very stagnant in life, very stuck in life. And then this person comes in and they reawaken that passion. They reawaken that creativity. You know, they, they basically help you, you know, start to love yourself again. They bring in self-worth to you. And I got to tell you guys, this is very interesting because, um, I actually, <laughs> So I, I usually, before I do these readings, I don't look at the cards ahead of time. I basically, I start shuffling, I let cards fall out, I put them face down, you know, into their piles, and then I see these cards right before I hit that record button, okay? And then I just kind of read what I get as I go along. But I usually try to pick a pile for myself before I see the cards and see, you know, how that resonates. I did not do this ahead of time. This time I did not, but this this pile actually feels very specific to me as well. You know, I actually, you know, just, just sharing a little bit of my life with you guys. You know, I went through a very difficult breakup from um, a really long-term relationship. And it was, it was hard, you know, because the person that um, I walked away from, I will always love them. But we were, we just did not mesh, okay? No matter what we did, it just did not work. It did not mesh. Um, and I was feeling very hopeless. I was feeling 
like I was never going to find the right person, never going to find the right relationship. I was not feeling passionate. I was not feeling creative. And I am a very creative person. You know, I, I love to... I love to pretty much do anything artistic that I can get my hands on. I, I love to sing, you know, all kinds of stuff. And I just, I wasn't really feeling alive. And then this person just came into my life out of nowhere, basically dropped out of the sky. And I had an amazing time with them. Amazing. They, re, they reawakened that creativity within me. They reawakened that passion. You know, it made me feel beautiful again and it, it made me realize that there is so much more to life and not only that but it opened my eyes that there are so many incredible people out there okay so many incredible people that can enrich your life in so many ways and this person left as quickly as they came in okay they left as quickly as they came in but I am so thankful for the time that I had with them because I, I've, it actually, it just opened my eyes so much. And actually, after they left, I started doing tarot and oracle for um, the public, you know, through these readings. And I got to tell you guys, if you feel that I help you in any way, if you feel that I bring support to you, you guys bring that much support times a hundred to me. You guys actually help me learn more. You help me develop, you know, into a better me. You guys bring me so, so much and you guys enrich my life so much. So I just want to take a moment to say thank you. I'm sorry that I, I kind of went off on a tangent about myself during this reading, but it felt so relevant to me. I just kind of wanted to share, you know, my story and that might coincide with yours, you know, this person might, they might have, their purpose in your life might have been to do something like that, which is absolutely beautiful. But what I'm seeing here is if this person does not contact you, there's a reason. It's because you have something better for you coming in, okay? Um, but it's possible, you know, with this true love card, I get two stories. One is this person came into your life and had to leave because the timing wasn't right for you guys right now. There was things that had to happen first, but this person will come back around because there's a true love situation here. That's one story. The second story is actually that this person was meant to be in your life you know, just to reawaken that love, reawaken that passion, open your heart chakra, help you realize your self-worth, your self-love, and to basically prepare you for a true love that's going to come in. And with this Queen of Cups, it's it might be a little bit slow. It might be a, a few months down the road. But I see that, you know, if this person was in your life temporarily and they brought you this beautiful gift of opening that heart chakra, it was to help prepare you for this true love that will be coming in soon, which is absolutely incredible. All right, my pile six people, please like, share, and subscribe, and contact or contact, <laughs> comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you guys. I love you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.